Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I got a simple little service thing to do here today, but part of it is interesting enough that I thought it would make a good video. We're going to replace the light for the meter on this TS430S with a white LED. And I have the white LED here, pre-wired with a resistor in line. Um, but what was interesting about this is the way that Kenwood lights this meter. Now I've seen a lot of meters lit in the past using um, a simple light at the back of the uh, at the back of the meter. The meter will be a clear or a slightly opaque white plastic. They'll put the light at the back, and it'll simply shine through the back of the meter. Well, this radio and this other, the other Kenwood that I have both use what's kind of like a light pipe. If you take a, uh, a clear material glass or acrylic and you shine a light source in on the edge of it, the light will bounce off of the inner surfaces all the way down the piece of material until it comes out the other end. It's the same way that uh, fiber works for... Uh, laser communications with, with optical fibers. Uh, it's called a light pipe. And that's what Kenwood uses on their meters to uh, light the back of the surface. There'll be a, uh, an edge on the side of the meter of clear acrylic material, and that's where the light bulb goes. And then the light travels through the acrylic to the back of the meter where there's a slightly frosted surface that scatters the light then spreading it out across the meter. So we're going to look at how this meter is lit. I'm going to try to get a good close-up here and show you the edge and how I'm going to have to put the LED in. But first I need to free up the front panel so I can tilt it out a little bit. So let me get that uh, opened up. You have to take the bottom and the top um, case off. And then there are screws on the uh, four sides here that hold the front panel. The bottom ones are like hinges. You take the top two out and the whole front panel will tilt forward slightly to give you better access to it. So let's do that. This is really going to be hard to see on the camera. Hopefully I can zoom in and show it to you. But here's the meter right here and right here is a groove u-shaped um, cut in the acrylic and that is where the light source has to go right there now somebody was already in here hacking away at this they've uh, oof, they've got two uh, uh, light bulbs <laughs> sort of strapped together here and they have that jammed in there like that. Um, just kind of stuck in that little groove to feed the light in. So that's uh, that's a mess. I'll have to clean that up. The white LED that I have, as you can see here, already has a resistor in line on the uh, positive side. Let's see, is that the flat? Yeah, that's the flat. So the resistor's on the positive side. So I need to uh, remove this mess and uh, <laughs> get the soldering iron heated up. I'll remove this mess and we'll get the LED wired in. And then I'm going to have to figure out a way to hold the LED right there in the light pipe. Just like that. So we'll have to figure out something there. I think I can put a piece of foam in here to press it against the side of the panel and that should hold it right there. So I think that's what I'll end up doing. But We'll figure that out. Um, the lens on the LED should focus the light and push it right down into that, that open edge on the meter, which should then concentrate it well um, across the face of the meter, at least. I hope that's uh, the way it's going to work. We'll find out once I get it wired in. So I'm going to flip on the soldering iron 
and uh, we'll get this other mess cleaned up out of here. The uh, front panel, as you can see, just hinges back and gives us plenty of room to work. Uh, he tapped 12 volts right up here on the power switch. Right there. And it looks like he tapped ground down here on a PC board down here. Which is fine. Um, I'll just wire this in in the same points. And uh, we should get light when we flip the power switch on. So, my digital recorder died. Oh, great. The audio is going to be terrible on this video. I am sorry for that ahead of time. I'll do my best to normalize it. Hopefully the main camera records better audio. All right, so we need to desolder his existing messy wires here. You know, those pliers. And time to open up a fresh spool of solder. And uh, you know who you are who sent me the solder. You sent me the solder station too. I appreciate both tremendously. I have used the soldering iron to death since uh, you sent it to me. Fantastic solder station, this hacko. I'm really enjoying it. Soldering iron heats up real quick. It takes no time at all to to uh, go from I need to solder something to I'm um, soldering it. I love that. My old cheapy iron used to take forever to heat up. Now the ground point. Oh, I see where you connected that. He just put it right on the pin. Down there on the PC board. Okay, the old mess is out. Now, let's figure out how this is going to fit in here gonna have to go like that this wire is gonna have to bend around like so to keep it out of the way hmm. maybe come down slightly and then loop back and connect right there, so I'll cut that one about here. And then we'll tin these wires. Okay. We'll wire in the positive first. Just snake it under there. And our ground lead. Yeah, I can shorten that. Just put it right on that pin. Sorry, I can't get you a better angle of me doing the soldering, but it's kind of tight in here. Okay, our LED is soldered in. Now we just have to get it to fit in here. Right in that notch 
and make it stay. I guess I could hot glue it in, but I don't want to do anything quite so permanent. But like I said, there's a gap here, and I think I can just put some foam in there to sort of, by friction, hold that in place. So I need a piece of foam. And let's see, is that fat enough? Yeah, that's fat enough. And that should hold it just fine. Yeah, we clear everything okay. Yeah. I think that'll do it. Okay, I'm going to put the screws back in, power it up, and we'll see how it looks. Well, again, I apologize for the poor audio. The batteries in my... Uh, the digital recorder died, so we're on the camera audio. So it's going to probably be a little up and down. I'll try to correct for it when I edit the video. All righty. We're ready to power it up and see how our light looks. Oh, yeah. That's much brighter, and it's got a nice, cool color to it. There. Turn off the main light. You can see how bright that meter light is now. That's what he wanted. He wanted a brighter, less yellow light. Um, and you can also see... They carry the light all the way down here, and that uh, memory channel indicator is also lit by this light. It just it just travels along that acrylic and, and hits wherever they scatter it. So there you go. This um, meter is now lit with a white LED that should last for many 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 years and remain just as bright and brilliant. So that's uh, that's replacing the uh, LED or the light with an LED. So I tapped power right off the power switch, um, as you saw, and I just picked a ground point down here on a PC board in the back of the switches for the ground, and uh, that's it. Uh, it couldn't be any couldn't be any easier. So I hope you found that uh, useful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.